everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and today I'll be doing an overview on this MSI Z97S SLI Crate Edition motherboard and I love the look of this board, it's just gorgeous. Also, if you didn't know what a crate was, it's a stripy snake and it's venomous. Let's take a look at the box details before we open it up. So this is a socket LGA 1150 board with the Intel Z97 Express chipset. Let's go ahead and flip it around to the back. Okay, and this board supports up to two-way SLI and two-way crossfire configs, and you get comprehensive protection right here for circuit, humidity, high temp, EMI, which is uh, helps to minimize the amount of electromagnetic interference, as well as ESD, which um, helps protect against electrostatic discharge. And in this section here, this is a uh, military class four graded, so it's quality components, and you get things such as super permeable ferrite chokes, dark chokes, um, they run at lower temps for better power efficiency. And then you also get OC Genie 4 for quick and easy overclocking, and you could do it with a click of a button. They make it so easy for you these days. And also 4K UHD support, and UHD stands for ultra high def. And one last thing is a command center. This allows you to control and customize the PC settings. So here's what you get in the box. You get the motherboard itself, which I'll go over more detail in just a bit, but first let's take a look at some of the accessories. So first up, you get this driver CD, always get one, but remember to download the latest drivers on their website. And also, quick install guide. But you'll really find everything you need in this uh, user guide. It is very detailed. I've kind of opened it up to the pages, which are most important to me anyway. So, Never mind these tabs here, they do not come with the user guide, but it tells you how to install it, how to use the BIOS, everything. And here, this is a, just looks like a non-painted IO shield, and I prefer the black painted ones, or white, whichever goes with your board, and of course some foam padding would have been nice. And then here you do get two SATA 6 gigabit per second cables, uh, one straight plug, and one L-shaped. Here on the back of the motherboard, you get a black PCB, very nice. And let's go ahead and turn it around to the front. Okay. So, this is an ATX form factor motherboard. It measures 305 millimeters or 12 inches by 244 millimeters or 9.6 inches. And as you can clearly see, it is in black and white for a very classic look. You can never go wrong with that. And it matches more components that way, and you know that's true. And also it comes with five fan connectors. You get a CPU fan up top here and another CPU fan next to it. And here is a system fan. And then down here you get another system fan somewhere around here, but I'll show you where it is when we get a closer look. And finally you have another system fan here. Here's a look at the two VRM coolers, and it's once again monochromatic design, very cool. Not sure if it's a blade or a gun, or maybe a mix of both. Um, and then beneath that is the System Fan 1, and over here is the LGA 1150 CPU socket. Next to the CPU socket are the DIMMs. So once again, black and white, absolutely love it, and also you know which uh, slots to populate. And you can also check page 15 for the population rules. So you get four DDR3 DIMM slots, and you get dual channel memory supporting up to 32 gigs, so definitely plenty for editing if I ever wanted to build in this. And also capable of pushing DIMMs to 3200 megahertz, of course that's overclocked, and it supports non-ECC memory and Intel XMP. To the left of the DIMMs, we have the M.2 SATA slot. And M.2 replaces the M SATA standard, and SATA 5 and SATA 6 ports will be available, unavailable, I'm sorry, if M.2 is used. And the M.2 connector supports both PCIe based and SATA based SSDs, but it's generally PCIe based and confirm the compatibility with your MOBO M.2 slot and your M.2 SSD. Now, the performance for this little guy um, can go up to 10 gigabits per second if you are using M.2 PCIe SSDs, or just the usual 6 gigabits per second for the M.2 SATA SSDs. And over here you get the Intel Z97 Express chipset beneath the heatsink, and of course MSI logo, and a very sharp look to the heatsink. Now then let's move over to this section here for the PCIe and PCI slots. So these two white ones here, these are your PCIe 3.0 x16 slots, supports x16, x0, or x8 at x8 modes. And then <clears throat> over here, 
these three little ones. These are the uh, PCIe 2.0 X1 slots. So if you wanted to include a sound card, network card, or the like, go ahead and use those. And then down here, these are the two PCI slots. And in this section here, this is the CMOS uh, battery. And next to it is the CMOS jumper. On the top edge, here's the 8-pin CPU power port. And let's move it along to a closer look at the CPU fan 1. And then next to that is the CPU fan 2. On the right edge, here's a closer look at the system fan 3. And then beneath that, we have the 24-pin power connector. And below that, USB 3.0 connector. Now, in this section here, well, first you have like SATA 1 and SATA 2 ports. And in this little bracket here, you have SATA 3 to 6. And SATA on the bottom row is uh, the SATA 5 and 6, and that's the SATA Express port. So um, for Express port, it operates up to 10 gigabits per second also. And if you didn't know what SATA Express was, or SATA E, it's a bus interface that supports both serial ATA and PCIe storage devices. You get the high speed through PCI Express, um, and that, that way you get more bandwidth for the latest gen SSDs. And also you can get SATA RAID configs 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, and 10. On the bottom edge, here are your two system panel connectors. There's even two charts here showing you where to plug in the cables. Now next to that are your two USB 2.0 connectors, and here's a system fan 2 connector, a closer look at it. Next to that is the TPM connector, and this long one here, that's the parallel port connector, and the serial port connector, and finally, we have the front panel audio connector. And in this section here, this little brown box, this will show you how thick your PCB is. It says one here, and I believe on the other side, it should say four. Here's a look at the rear I.O., and this is your PS2 connector for a mouse or keyboard if you wish to connect that way. And then beneath that, two USB 2 ports. And then this right here is an HDMI port. It supports a max of 4096 by 2160 at 24 hertz, as well as 2560 by 1600 at 60 hertz. And then here's the LAN port. And beneath that, two USB 3.0 ports. And this is a D-sub connector. And this supports a max res of 1920 by 1200 at 60 hertz. And beneath that is the DVI D port, supports a max res of 1920 by 1200 at 60 hertz as well. And then next to that, an additional two USB 3.0 ports. And finally, we have the uh, audio ports. And this is 7.1 channel high def audio. And one more thing for the HDMI, your D sub as well as your DVI connectors requires processor graphics, so you'll probably be plugging into your Beastly graphics card instead. Well, that wraps it up for this video on the MSI Z97S SLI Crate Edition motherboard. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media, Joanne Tech Lover Facebook fan page, Joanne Tech Lover again on Twitter, and Joanne Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, please don't forget to hit the donate button so I can help expand this channel and feed this techie. One last thing is storeenvy.com where you can go ahead and check out my 85 by 11 inch autograph prints that you can buy. I guess all that's left to say is mwah. See you next time.